as it is so all the things we have covered will be fine we still one this is cos a into cos a this is two sin a two sin a into cos square a is still in cos so we will convert this into this is sin a plus sin a that we multiply by sin a into the bracket which is 1 minus 2 sin square multiply by sin a will be sin a minus 2 into but plus and minus minus to sin cube a this is 3 power this is power 3 so sin cube a okay sin power 3 sin is power 3 sin is power 3 you can say sin a is power 3 the whole cube but this is 2 sin cube all right now cos square a is further to be written in terms of sin now we know that cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta that we can substitute here with this is 1 minus sin square theta 1 minus sin square a because cos square a is 1 minus sin square a that we can write here so this is plus sin a minus 2 sin u this one okay let me now remove this since this cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta this I have the best cos square theta 1 minus sin square a okay this is multiplying again 2 into sin a multiplying by 2 sin a into 1 this is 2 sin a minus 2 into sin a into sin square a sin cube a plus sin a this one minus 2 sin cube a this one hence let me add them now sin a plus 2 sin a is 3 sin a similar terms are added up minus 2 sin a and 2 sin cube a and minus 2 sin cube a this is 4 times sin cube a same result 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a 4 sin cube a the same result is often this is the right hand side the right hand side ok hence root hence root this is the result question number 8 ok now computer question number 8 is and then we solve that how this sin 3a equal to 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a that is root let us take question number 9 next formula these are the formulae or the formula one by one so these formulas are we have to discuss about now let us take 9th one cos 3a 9th question is cos of 3a cos of 3a is equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a this is the formula for this now we have to just prove it how this is 4 cos cube a 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a cos 3a is equal to cos 3a we have to put cos 3 theta we have to put cos theta equal to 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta okay if it is theta angle angle theta now in this case we have to a angle so cos 3a equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a then we have to put okay now let us take this further solution left hand side here which is cos of 3a again cos of 3a can be written as cos 2a plus a open this by formula a plus b cos a plus well, cos a plus b addition formula or some formula this is cos 2a into cos a cos a into cos b minus sin sin a into sin b that is sin sin 2a into sin a since let me write here cos of a plus b the formula is cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b this formula we have applied here in place of b we have here a cos and in place of a we have twice a twice a plus a first cos 2a cos a cos b minus sin a sin b sin 2a 
کی فرسٹ اینگل اس ٹو ہے دیٹ انگل سب ہوتا ہے اے تو آپ کہیں کہ جس کا نمبر دس اس کاؤس تھری اے ان ٹو اے پلس اے دین ایکسپریس ان کام فرم دس نو 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 سٹیٹ دس آپ آلویز بکوز دس فرمولا ہے فور کاؤس تھری تھی جا اور کاؤس تھری اے آل ویلیوز آپ کو بھی کنورٹڈ تو کاؤس آنڈی اور کجائن آنڈی اوکے دیکھ کجائن فرم کا بھی آپ کو دین اپلائی دیکھ دیکھ پانچ ہمیں کو Of this form by here, the basic. Okay, let us take cos 2a. Now, cos 2a to be expressed in terms of cos and the 2 cos square a minus 1, which is from formula number this 3, question number 3. Cos 2a in terms of cos and 2 cos square a minus 1. This formula will substitute in place of cos 2. Let me put that cos 2 is 2 cos square a minus 1. In one bracket into cos a, we will multiply this by this. Minus sine two a is only one formula. I mean, there are two formulae. One is in ten, terms of ten, but first is two sine theta into cos theta. That means two sine a into cos a, two sine a into cos a into sine a. This sine a as it is. So this sine two a is two sine a into cos a. See, okay. yes, we have substituted. Now convert this whole into cos cos on this, so cos a multiplied, this is 2 into cos 2 a, first one cos 2 cos square a into cos a, that is cos 2 a, 2 cos 2 a, minus cos a, minus sin, this is 2 into sin a, sin square a, into cos a, now sin a into, they are in multiplication, they are in multiplication, we have to multiply sin a into sin a, that means, sin square a, this is sin square a, now convert sin square a into cos theta, this is since sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta, that we will substitute here, this is 2 cos cube a minus cos a, minus this is twice into 1 minus cos square a, why because it is sin square a, is 1 minus cos square a into cos a. Okay, now substitute them. For the multiply, so 2 cos 2 a minus cos a minus 2 into cos a because this 1 into 2 into cos a. This is 2 cos a minus minus plus a plus sine. 2 into cos a into cos square is cos cube a. Now adding the like terms. Now 2 cos cube a, 2 cos cube a, this is 4 cos cube a, minus cos a, minus 2 cos a, this is going to be 3 cos a, okay, so 3 cos a, that's the value, so 4 cos cube a, minus 3 cos a, this is the answer here, 4 cos cube a, minus 3 cos a, so convert every, every term in cos, then we will get the result of cos 3 in terms of cos, this is, the form the right hand side here. This is the right hand side. Okay, hence fruit. So we have to prove this form down, which I do prove here. Question number nine completed. Let us take tenth question number ten. Or tenth question. What is it? question number ten say? Let me take that. Question number ten. In question number ten, we have what do we have? Again, next formula 10 3a. Okay, so 10 3a is equal to question number 10 here. 10 of multi block angles. We are discussing, still, we are discussing about multi block angles. Okay, this is 3 times of angle A. So 10 3a is equal to. Okay, where is this question number 10? Okay, 10th question is that. So 3 10 a. First is 3 10 a minus 10 cube a upon 1 minus 3 10 square a this is 1 minus 3 10 square a in the denominator we have 1 minus 3 10 square a 1 minus 3 10 square a 3 10 a minus 10 cube a this we have to reach up to and how we have to prove this 10 3 a equal to this now let me just take it left hand side solution we have to find a solution. Let's take left hand side. The left hand side is 10 3a. This can be written as 10 
who will plus a in the same way as tan a plus b is expressed. Let me express this. It will give us tan two tan a minus tan two a here. In place of first angle is two a plus tan a divided by one minus tan two a into tan a. For this tan a into tan two. Okay. This value we have taken. We have to take the next tan two a. What is tan two a value? Two tan a upon one minus tan square. This is formula number question number. In expression, this tan tan two a is equal to two tan a upon one minus tan square. Directly we can put this form, but we have to know that tan two a is two tan a upon one minus tan square a. This we have substituted here. Plus tan a as it is, whole divided by one minus this tan two a. Tan two a we have substituted here. Tan a upon one minus tan square. Similarly here tan two a. Tan two a is two tan a upon one minus tan square a into tan a as it is. This tan a as it is. Okay, now let me solve it further. Taking one minus tan square a LCM in the numerator, one minus tan square a in the denominator is there. We have to take in the denominator of numerator. So this one minus tan square a, if I take LCM, it will take one minus tan square a as LCM. It will give us two tan a. This numerator is there because dividing by this LCM, this LCM by this one minus tan square a will give us one. But one into two tan a is two tan a plus Tan a into one minus tan square. That tan a, if I multiply by, let me write first. The tan a into one minus tan square a. We are multiplied by the LCM here to the numerator. Tan a, which is divided by whole divided by whole divided by again LCM in the denominator is also one minus tan square a. And assume the denominator is also one minus tan square like this. Now this one one minus tan square will come here in place of one. This is one minus tan square here. because one into tan square is one minus tan square. One into tan one minus tan square is LCM. Multiplying LCM to one because this one. If I divide one minus tan square by one, that means the same value one minus tan square will be there. Now this quotient is to multiply to the numerator which is one. One into one minus tan square minus tan square minus sine. Now this tan is equal to tan a. This two tan square a. Try to understand. Now this LCM one minus tan square is this LCM one minus tan square will be cancelled out by because a upon b into c upon b. Now this is c. Uh, sorry, c upon that will be d upon c. Now if a upon b is divided by this division sign here. By b, c upon b let me take. It will be equal to c upon b into d upon c. So this one minus tan square will come in the numerator. Okay, and this uh, value. Uh, so this one minus tan square which is in the denominator, it will come in the numerator. So that that we can see now. One minus tan square minus tan square is coming out. So in the numerator we have this tan a plus. Let me write that. This is equal to. Two tan a. We multiply by tan a to bracket plus tan a minus tan a into this tan square. That means tan cube tan square a into tan a. That means tan cube. Okay, the whole divided by this value. This is one minus tan a tan square a minus two tan square a is minus three tan square a. Okay, that is the value. Finally, we obtain two tan a plus tan a is three tan a minus tan q a whole divided by one minus three tan square. Okay, so this is the same result which is in the right hand side. This will give us right hand side. So. Formula for tan 3a is 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus 3 tan square a. 3 tan a minus tan cube a upon 1 minus 3 tan a.
three times per day. That is common right. These are to be remembered always. Okay, just to solve the questions immediately. Just to understand the basic process and how to reach up to the knowledge at the front of my mind. That is my basic objective. Just to explain them that how these are used away. These formally are obtained. Okay, so question number 10 is finally completed. Let us take now question number 11. Okay, now question number 11. What does it say? The 11th question is okay, is this sine a by now some multiple of angles from 11 onwards? Now, some multiple angles I am taking. This is sine a. Question by 11. Sine of a by 2. We have to prove that this is equal to plus minus under root of 1 minus cos a upon 2. This we have to prove here. Okay, so that is the point of mine. Now we know that cos 2 theta is in terms of cos theta, oh sorry, sin theta. What is that value? Let us take here. So left hand side, we have to just prove this formula solution. Now let me take this whole result with the help of okay, uh, what we call with the help of elder formula. Okay, what is cos 2? Since cos of 2a angle in terms of sine is 1 minus 2 sine square a. Now if I take this 2 sine square a negative left hand side, it will give us this implies that 2 sine square a is equal to this cos 2a to that side will become negative. This is 1 minus cos 2a. That means sine square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a upon 2. This is the basic formula. Now, if I substitute in place of a as a by 2, okay, a by 2 in place of a, so putting in this formula, putting here, okay, or replacing that with a, replacing, not putting, uh, replacing a by a by 2. Okay, let me halve the angle. So this will be sine square sine square a by 2 angle is equal to 1 minus cos square. This is a here and this is cos 2a. Sorry, this is cos 2a, 1 minus cos 2a. So this is not a square but cos 2a. This is 2 in 1, sorry, a by 2. All divided by 2. This 2 can stop in the angle. It is giving us 1 minus cos a upon whole 2. This is the value of sine square a by 2 angle or sine a by 2. If I take a square root on both sides, the sine is square, is square root gets it out. Here it will be plus minus sine, but it will be positive sine only. Because sine is positive, it can be positive or negative, it is plus minus sine. We can write here plus minus sine because we are taking the square root. Give us 1 minus cos a upon 2. This is how sine a by 2 is obtained. And a by 2 is obtained therefore plus minus and 2 1 minus cos a. Just replacing a by a by 2 in this of putting a in uh, a by 2 in place of a in this formula which is sine square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a upon 2 from this this below since is equal to this which formula this is in question number yeah fourth one from fourth question number four question number four fourth question from fourth question we have this one cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a. This we have proved already. So just from this we have taken value of cos sin a which is 2 sin square a, 1 minus cos 2a. Cos sin square a divided by 2 
in the right hand side, so it is 1 minus cos 2 upon 2. Okay, so that is giving us this value. So replacing now a by a by 2. A in place of a if I put a by 2. If then the result will come out like this because a is a by 2 times for a by 2 equal to 1 minus cos a upon 2. Then taking square root on both sides, this is sin a by 2 equal to plus minus and then 1 minus cos a upon 2. So this is the result here. Question number 11. Hence proof this is the right hand side. Hence proof we can say this result has been proved. This sin a by 2 angle is equal to under root 1 minus plus minus under root 1 minus cos a upon 2. This is 1 minus cos a upon 2. This is the result. Question number which one? Okay, this 11, question number 11, completed. Let us take question number now, track. Question number 12 now. Okay, now question number 12. We have a question number 12 here. Okay, next formula. Now it's cos a by 2. What is cos a by 2? 12th question. So cos a by 2 is also some multiple of angle. Cos a by 2 equal to plus minus. And the root 1 plus cos a upon 2. This we have to do cos a by 2 equal to plus minus 1 plus cos a upon 2. That we have to prove. Again, solution. So left hand side, not left hand side, we, have, we know from the same formula. Since cos of 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. This we know. Since this is equal to this form, question number 3. From we have to just question number 3 cos 2 a equals 2 cos square a minus 1 because this is in terms of cos ok so 2 cos square a therefore this minus 1 take to this side the same that is 2 cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2 a or dividing by 2 cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a whole divided by 2 or we can write here cos a is equal to plus minus taking this curve on both sides this is 1 plus cos 2a upon 2 ok this is cos a value if I replace a by a by 2 so putting a by 2 in place of a in this equation, this is first equation of A in 1. So we get cos A by 2, some multiple of angle is equal to plus minus under root. Signs will be there plus minus. This is only 1 plus cos 2 A by 2 A 2 into A by 2. This 2 cancel out divided by 2 will give us plus minus under root of 1 plus cos a upon 2. This is how cos a by 2 equal to plus minus 1 plus cos a upon 2. That is the final answer of man's root. Therefore, cos a by 2 is equal to plus minus under root 1 plus cos a upon 2. Man's root. Okay, so this is the question number 12. Alright. Let us take next question. Okay, now question number 13. You have to check what I just said. Okay, before taking question 13, let me clean it further. Let me clean the board.
Okay, guys, so this is from the request of my students who say so come online so that we can understand that how these formulae are put or all the subjects of mathematics are being discussed. That's why I've taken the subjects for mathematics and every subject which I teach in management classes and engineering classes, I want to discuss them online that my students who are staying far flung or at distant places they can understand, they can reach out to me online. So please just uh, go through my this or you can get my number. I'll note down my mobile number also so that you can send your comments or your questions online on my okay number. I mean on web, either by WhatsApp or by uh, other means so that you can get the Okay, direct contact with me or I can reply you directly. Okay, so your comments are welcome, maybe negative or positive doesn't matter because some people are positive and negative are always there. Okay, so whatever your positive results, I mean, I will uh, take them seriously. I will improve upon my you know, topics here. What topics? And uh, some topics are suggested to add, I'll add them, I'll explain them also. Okay, because I, my objective is just to clarify the doubts of the students in mind. Okay, all the people who want to search my okay, website here. Okay, my uh, channel here. Now come to the point. Next question, 13. Taking the question number 13 now. 10 a by 2. Let me take. This is question number 13. Okay. 13 question 10 a by 2 is equal to. We have to prove that 10a by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a. Okay. This is we have to prove. Okay, so I mean this is the use of the question number 11 and 13. Uh, 11 and 12, sorry. This is the 13th question. So let me just take that. Now, to solve it, just we have to write the result from those. Now left hand side here is 10a. Left hand side is 10a. 10a by 2, sorry. This is 10a by 2, which can be written as sine a by 2 upon cos a by 2. Since 10 theta is equal to sine theta upon cos theta. Now here angles are half. To substitute the value of sine a by 2 and cos a by 2 but sine a by 2 is equal to plus minus and 1 minus cos a upon 2 and sine sorry cos a by 2 sorry and cos a by 2 is equal to plus minus and 1 plus cos a upon 2 so substituting these values in this equation this is suppose 1 Substituting these and substituting these values in one. So we get what do we get here? Let me change the mark. Okay, so we get here putting the value of sine a by two cos a by two in first we get therefore ten a by two is equal to which is sin a by 2 upon cos a by 2 that is equal to plus minus under root 1 minus cos a upon 2 is equal to divide by okay divide by plus minus under root 1 plus cos a upon under root 2 so let me write them in a proper manner this is under root 1 minus cos a Okay, oblique under root 2 multiplied by under root 2 upon this under root 1 plus cos a. This under root 2 under root cancelled out. So let me write this in division sign. This is divided by under root 2. So this means the root of 1 minus cos a upon 2. That means under root of 1 minus cos a upon under root of 2. Similarly, this and root of 1 plus cos a upon and root of 2, which is under root 2 and root 2 cancelled out. This will give us 
Okay, I'm doing log 1 minus cos a upon both have the square root sign. So we can put 1 is square root sign upon both. Or let me first write this is square root of 1 minus this upon square root of 1 plus cos a. Left over value and put the square root upon both. In 1 is square root this 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a. Okay, so this is the right hand side. And do 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a. We got plus minus sign cancel out, so that is this value tan starts with this right hand side. Tan a by 2b started with we have reached up to this and root 1 minus cos a upon 1 plus cos a. Alright, so this is the question number 13 we have completed. Let's do it. This is question number 13. Let us take next question. And before taking next question, let me okay talk about this point that. What is the requirement of these formulae? The requirement of these formulae is just to remember these to solve the questions of trigonometry easily. If they are not remembered, then we have to see again and again. Okay, just like when we are not understanding one particular word of English, then we have to consider the dictionary. Similarly, we have to see the books again and again. Okay, or we have to search here and there for the uh, formulae. So, yeah, just to remember the formulae so that we can understand them properly. So just to remind them again and again so that you can remember. Now let us take further some multiple of uh, numerical numbers. Okay, numerical angles. Okay. 16th question. Sorry, question number now 14. 14 question number 14. Now question number 14 is of peculiar kind, which is uh, 14 is sine of 18 degree. We have to prove that sine of 18 degree is equal to sine of 72 degree, cos of 72 degree, sorry, this is cos of 72 degree, yeah, this cos of 72 degree is equal to the values of sine 18 degree and cos 72 degree is the same thing, this is under root 5 minus 1 upon 4, we have to prove this, under root 5 minus 1 upon 4, this value is of sine 18 degree. Let me just put this all cos 72 degree, doesn't matter. Now let us take, prove this, that what is the value of this, we have to prove this solution. So let us take sin 18 degree, left hand side, is equal to sin of 18 degree. Now we have to prove this in another way. Let me take 